please remain in your car for the invocation, Pledge of Allegiance, and the National Anthem. Please bow your heads. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for giving us all the opportunity to gather uniquely together on this special day and be able to celebrate our amazing accomplishments. Lord, I pray that you allow me and all my classmates to achieve all our hopes and dreams and be successful in whatever we choose to pursue. I pray that you keep us all safe and happy as we enter this new and scary chapter of our lives and that we live with no regrets. I pray that we all shoot for the stars and never doubt our capabilities of being the best versions of ourselves that we can be. Lord, please watch over my classmates, their families, our teachers and administrators, and our community, and continue to keep us all healthy and safe during this time. Thank you, Lord, for all you do, and for blessing me with the best class I could ever ask for. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting in air that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the graduates 2020 what a year it has been a year of changes and challenges and you have met every single one of them a year of looking at things a little different and when I think about looking at things different I think of vision and of course you the class of 2020 we think of 2020 vision and 2020 vision is the ability to see things up close, yet also see things from a distance. I want you to take a moment to celebrate the great accomplishments of the now. You've reached your goal of graduating high school. That is a great accomplishment. Take time to celebrate that. And also during this worldwide pandemic, during the now, I want you to focus on family, kindness, and helping others. But also when we think about 2020 vision is also the ability to see far away. And the distance is your future. I encourage you to look long range about what you want to do and who you want to be. You need to visualize your goals for the future. You need to picture what you want your life to look like. Then you need to set your sights on how to accomplish that. How do you get to your chosen destination? One of my favorite verses in Proverbs 29, 18 says, without a vision, the people perish. You must have a vision, not only for the now, but also for your future. I believe few things happen by chance. A vision is necessary. I want to encourage you 
set a vision, focus your things and steps on how to get there and take joy in the surroundings once you get there. I'm gonna leave you with the, one of the verses of one of my favorite new songs out. And it says, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May his face turn toward you and give you peace. Class of 2020, I say Godspeed, congratulations, and go change the world. Welcome everybody to the Class of 2020 graduation ceremony. It is a pleasure to have everyone here to join us on this exciting milestone, and I thank everybody here for listening. This was something everybody has been looking forward to seeing since the beginning of this year, and now we are finally here in our last moments as the students of the Case County High School. Let's be real, the class of 2020 honestly did not heed the advice of enjoying high school while it lasted because it flew by. Throughout the course, we learned to become the people we are today because of how high school pushed us to find ourselves. Whether it be a pep rally or club day, we found something that made a lasting memory that made special bonds and made up the class of 2020. Sadly, one fourth of our senior year was taken away from us from something we could not control. During our years at Casey County High School, we have all sat home and prayed for a snow day or two but none, none of us ever wanted such an event to happen. We never dreamed our senior year would be whisked away from us. We didn't get our final prom, <clears throat> graduation, or even our goodbyes, and it is heartbreaking to even think about it. Though I still look back on my time as a KC Rebel as some of the best times of my life. I know those were the memories that will make a, last, a lasting lifetime. Even though the years went by quickly, these memories made high school enjoyable and memorable for years to come. These years were a part of history, and now we're making Casey County High School history by being a part of the celebration. This may not be how we wanted to be part of history, and it's not the way we wanted to end. However, we are excited to go forward to the next phase of our life, but sad to leave this part behind. With that being said, to, the, to Casey County High School, class of 2020, we are essential. We are important and we will strive to keep pushing because we are almost there.
that you'll give faith a fighting chance when you get the choice to sit it out or dance dance I hope you dance I hope you dance I hope you dance I hope you What a crazy four years we've spent together. I'm sure you're the first class in Casey County High School's history that has had online instruction for several months, no prom, and no in-person graduation. We didn't get to walk the halls as a class together for the last time. We didn't get to do prom walk-ins in front of the whole county. And did anyone even decorate their caps? Oh, but what an amazing four years we have spent together. Freshman year, 2016, we all attended the school as green as the cliche says we were. Then homecoming week rolled around, and we had a great group of girls that dominated all the other classes in the Powder Puff football games. Upperclassmen cried, people hobbled off the field, all the while our freshman girls were celebrating their huge victory. The best part about it is that the tradition continued, and the class of 2020 Powder Puff team rolled all four years for the first time ever. By the end of our freshman year, we had settled in and were comfortable with what would be our home for the next three years. Sophomore year, our girls basketball team won districts and were the 12th region runners up, narrowly missing a bid to state. And one of our classmates, Gina Beth Cravens, made it into the coveted 1,000 point club super early in her career. During our junior year, we became a part of the upperclassmen. We had three new members of our class. We met who I believe are the coolest foreign exchange students Casey County has ever seen. Ed, Lenny, and Jenna brought a little extra joy to our junior year. Junior year was also the year one of our fellow classmates, Justin Luttrell, won state in archery and went on to place third in the world. And who's the smartest class around? Oh, it's us. We achieved the highest ACT score in school history. We also had the highest number of Governor Scholars in 2019. And while we're talking about the best of the best, let's talk about pep rallies. One of my favorite memories was during the homecoming pep rally last year when our class won the spirit stick over the seniors. And here we are now. We started this year with so much excitement, so many plans, so much anticipation, and dreams of everything that your senior year is supposed to be. And things changed, obviously, but we've had a great run. In 2019, we started the most important year of our life, senior year. The first day of senior year was upon us, and we were finally the big fish in the little pond. You could feel the electricity in the air. It was our year, our bonfire, our pep rallies, our homecoming. <laughs> Who could forget brain's cheetah print pants? During the fall sports season, one of our fellow classmates, Alyssa Sharp, qualified for staying cross country. And our senior football players will graduate in a tie for the winningest class in school history. The much anticipated basketball season rolled around. We had well-deserved high expectations for our girls, and they sure followed through. Three other seniors, Lauren Lee, Natalie Duggins, and Jordan Siemens would join the 1,000 point club. Gina would go on to score over 2,000 points, Lauren would be nominated as a candidate for Miss Kentucky basketball, and our girls would play on the floor at Rupp Arena, making us one of the proudest classes that has ever walked through those doors. I've never seen so many pink shirts in my life. They proved to the whole county how hard work and perseverance pays off. Unfortunately, we will never know how far our girls could have gone then things changed completely. March 12th, we found out we would be out of school for what we thought would be three weeks. And here we are today. School has been canceled for the rest of the year, our senior prom was rescheduled, and you're watching the speech on the side of a building. Despite all of this, we've made our mark on the school, and we've definitely made our mark on each other's lives. I, for one, will never forget the class of 2020. Thank you.
You never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. Or in our case, you don't know the value of a moment until you aren't given the opportunity to experience it. What we thought was a promised four years of high school was cut short for us. We don't truly get to share our final moments together. We don't get to experience the feeling on our last days. And we will never get a proper farewell as a class. Although it doesn't feel right to end things this way, unfortunately, we must. Life is unfair and things do not always go as planned. But wouldn't life be boring if they did? Our class knows how to overcome unprecedented circumstances. We were brought into this world around the happening of a historic moment in time, and now we mark our high school graduation with another event that will make its way into the history books. If we can make it through all of this, imagine how much we can triumph in our journey through life. We are a class of leaders, trendsetters, inventors, title holders, movers and shakers. We are a class of electricians, doctors, engineers, artists, conservationists, attorneys, actors, and actresses. We are the class of 2020, and the ripple we have made at Casey County High School will make an impact for generations to come. The legacy we're leaving is not one to scoff at. I mean, come on, let's see another class beat the highest average ACT score in school history. I would say we'll wait, but we can't. We're kind of graduating. As I look around this empty gym, I envision what it would have been like to gaze into the crowd of my peers, all anxiously awaiting their time to walk the stage. I envision friends gathered together, each ready for the moment of validation that proves they didn't work their butts off for nothing. One last hurrah as a family. I'm not gonna say this to make you all sad, but to show the impact that you all have made on my life. I never in a million years would have thought I'd be up here standing here today. I used to be shy, insecure, and I struggled to speak up for myself. As my peers, you all took me in. You made me feel at home. You taught me how to thrive. You have helped me grow and improve myself. Words cannot even begin to show how thankful I am to have been brought up in a class like this, one with the ability to captivate others, one with the hunger for success, one with the capabilities to make an impact on the world. Our last two months of high school were ripped from our grasp with no warning. There is no avoiding that, and we have all the right to grieve over the inconvenient absence of so many of what were supposed to be our last bittersweet moments together in this building that we've learned and grown in alongside one another for the past almost four years. However, we must also shine light on the blessings that we were granted during the time that we shared together. The sense of family, love, and compassion that we have for one another is the reason why the loss of those last two months caused so much pain. We must not hesitate to show our gratitude for the fact that our class has such a tight-knit structure, and without it, we would not be suffering a heartbreak as large as we are. We must also not go without recognizing the immense amount of effort put into making our already special year even more memorable by our entire community, especially the Casey County school system and our own beloved parents and guardians. Their show of concern for us during the difficult time that we have recently inevitably experienced is something like I have never seen before. So all in all, be thankful. Be thankful that you are part of a class of lovers, caregivers, entertainers, thinkers, and compassionate people who make it oh so hard to say goodbye. With that being said, we n must not be dismayed at goodbyes. A farewell is necessary before we can meet again. And meeting again after moments or lifetimes is certain for those who are friends. So friends, just know that we will meet again. As we bring this speech to an end, we want you all to understand that nothing is over except for our time as high schoolers. Nothing about our time together becomes of any less value after the conclusion of this speech and of this driving graduation ceremony. Who else can say that? Every moment and every memory, no matter how big or small, made us who we are. Every person who would have been placed in alphabetical order in the gym floor right in front of us made us who we are. Class of 2020, I could not imagine calling any other class my own. So, when the time calls for it, lean out of your vehicles with pride and let those hats soar. I'm so proud to be a part of a group with such a clear vision of our future. A future so bright, we had, had to, to put, put shades, shades on. <laughs> As high school musicals Gabriella and Troy once said, 
I gotta leave, but I'll miss you. We love you, and we can't wait to see what tomorrow has in store for each and every one of you. Remember to ne never settle for less than you can offer. Never be shy of a laugh, and never forget where your story began. Every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. Class, Class of, 2020, of 2020, we can't, we can't wait, wait to, to watch, watch you change the world. <laughs> Good evening. On behalf of Superintendent Marion Souders, Casey County Board of Education, and the faculty and staff at Casey County High School, I, Joshua Blevins, welcome you to the ceremony of graduation for the class of 2020. Students, tonight will be my last opportunity to address you as your principal. I want to begin by saying thank you. Thank you to your parents, grandparents, and your community for their continued support over the last four years, as each has enabled you as students to transform our school. Your teachers and school staff deserve the most heartfelt gratitude. They're an amazing group of people that do amazing work every day. Over the past four years, I've challenged you to be leaders, to rise. You've, full, you've fully proven to be dedicated, driven, and a focused group. You, each of you, will forever hold a special place in my heart. I've always prepared my principal's message trying to think of the right things to share for the class. I'd always hoped that my words would have at least a small impact for a few fleeting moments. As I reflect on the class of 2020, I keep coming back to each individual member of, of your class. I see you in the hallways during class changes, watching you seated in the classrooms, working with talk partners to be the first group finished, leading the chants at pep rallies, the relationships, the laughter, and all the challenges you faced and overcame were hopefully experiences you will carry with you for many years to come. As a principal, I'm supposed to know what to do and what to say in a variety of situations. However, this is one time I'm at a complete loss for what to say. My heart is heavy knowing that your last days as seniors were removed because of reasons beyond our control. You've worked your entire school career just to have the last three months of your time at CCHS taken away. School experiences, sports, ACT rewards, field day, the always fun graduation practices, and the closure of goodbyes were left undone. It's easy to get caught up in all the things that we may have missed or never had the chance to experience. Your experience through high school has been completely different than any before. Then again, the class of 2020 has always been a little different. In trying to look into the future for you graduates, I do not want to focus on what was missed or what went wrong. Rather, I want to focus on the possibilities of the future and hopefully express to you the best advice I can muster in trying to imagine the future and limitless opportunities that await you. Class of 2020, leaders, I encourage you first to find your purpose. So I ask, what do you want to be remembered for? Over the last eight years, as my time as principal, working with your administrative staff, Mr. Reynolds and Mr. Beard, Ms. Cravens and Ms. Taylor, Mr. Stonebreaker and Ms. Hoskins, and myself, we were always seeking ways to improve our processes and experiences for you. Our ideas were sometimes a little different, although we like to think of them as innovative. But it's always been said, do what you've always done and you'll get what you've always got. For the class of 2020, we wanted more. We wanted opportunities and exposure for this class. So I'd often heed the question of Mr. Beard. He would always ask, what do you want to be remembered for? It's an awesome question. So as you ponder what it is you want to be remembered for, I encourage you to find your purpose. Be able to imagine and fully articulate your vision and goals with consideration to the values you find to be non-negotiable. Charity, service, love, respect, integrity, family, and faith. All great words, but it's up to you to find what holds meaning and drives your passion. I hope as you reflect on your time here at CCHS, those words that I just mentioned resonate and were demonstrated through our actions. Second, I want you to surround yourself with people that are doers, dreamers, believers, and thinkers. Most importantly, surround yourself with people that will see the greatness in you. There will be times that you doubt yourself. There will be times of separation 
and loss. Times you think that you can't do what you dream. The, pe the people you surround yourself with will provide you the support and ability to realign your values and vision into action so that you may realize your own greatness. 21 years ago, I sat through my high school graduation. My 17-year-old self never imagined that I would one day be a teacher, much less a high school principal. But here we are. And I realized that it would not be possible if it were not for the people I surrounded myself with. Learn that there are people out there that serve others, encourage others, that change lives. Surround yourself with people that will push you out of your comfort zone, but will always have your best interest at heart. Listen and learn from these people. And someday be that person for someone else. Learn that service and loyalty are greater than you can imagine. Earn trust and put people at the center of your work. It's time that you realize this world is a very big place and it's a much better place when you surround yourself with people that work to make it a greater place for others. You've had some great examples of these people throughout your careers as students. I want you to take time, think about your teachers from kindergarten to your senior year. Each of those people saw greatness in you. Their kindness and effort helped you reach this great milestone. Simple acts of charity and service are things that we celebrate because people no longer move to action for the simple reason it's the right thing to do. I fear that we as a society have become so self-absorbed that the only time we do what is right is when we know we'll be recognized for it. You are the generation that can change this mindset. You are the ones that must be willing to put service before self and work to make this world we all want to live in. So how do you do that? Find things to do that will better someone else's life besides your own. Be the one that finds the greatness in others. Celebrate it with them. And you will find that the more you give in lifting others up, the greater the reward. You will find that time, just your time, is the greatest thing you can give someone. Take time and enjoy every moment you can. I encourage you to love. Love is something that we have all known from a very young age. It is one emotion that can move you from joy to tears in a moment. As you experience life's many challenges, love is what will keep you grounded in faith and family and what is important. Love is what will give you the courage to do things that you never dreamed. Through life's struggles, you will come to know what and who you love. And when you find that, keep it close. And let those that you love know that every day. Moments and actions can change quickly for you and those around you just by simply sharing your love. Be an encourager of the heart. It's easy to take things for granted and not acknowledge those around you. Some say to allow your actions to show your love, and I agree, but I also encourage you to say it. Class of 2020, I love you. So my words for you are purpose, service, and love. We can't wait for things to happen. We have to lead the change. We have to dare to be different. Rebels, I want you to know that I'll always be here for you. But know that I will always challenge you to rise. I will challenge you to lead. It's now time for each of you to explore a new path, one that diverges from us here at CCHS. The futures and opportunities await you are unknown, but there is an excitement and promise in the future. Do not consider this the end of your journey. Tonight marks the beginning of a great adventure. I pray the years ahead of you continue to be characterized by empathy, love, service, but also a little bit of willingness to take a risk. May you always continue to lead by example, work hard, and give respect as it's earned. May your successes be many and your tribulations be few and far between. I leave you with this. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Class of 2020, the 21st ranked high school in the state of Kentucky. You, you can do all things. So I ask you, what will you be remembered for? Romans 12, 2 says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what that is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. 
I wish you everything that you so richly deserve in the years ahead. It has been my true honor and privilege to serve you. I expect many great things. So may you, Rebels, always continue to rise. Thank you. As superintendent of Casey County Schools, I certify that these graduates have met all of the requirements of the Casey County Board of Education, as well as the Kentucky Department of Education. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the graduating class of 2020 at Casey County High School. Congratulations, graduates, on a job well done. Gregory Lee Allen. Jordan Trace Baldock. Hayden Ellis Baston. Jacob Michael Baston. Matthew Dylan Benton. Marley Grace Blake. Joshua Scott Blevins. Haley Joe Brock. Anna Marie Brown. Braden Joseph Brown. Ethan Thomas Brown. Jaden Wesley Brown. Reese Hayes Brown. Hannah Sue Bias. Jaylee Dawn Bias. Rylan Lee Bias. Lucas Wayne Calhoun. Krista Leanne Callanan. Alexandria Marie Campbell. Andrew Blake Campbell. Walker Vaughn Campbell. Dylan Wayne Cantor. Paige Jean Cantor. Olivia Grace Karen. Hunter McKay Carter. Emily Nadine Clements. Ethan Wayne Clements. Whitney Brianna Clements. Rebecca Faith Cochran. Jevick William Coleman. Gina Beth Cravens. Abigail Caroline Crew. Austin Dwayne Crow. Jessica Leanne Crow. Mackenzie Danielle Cundiff. Maggie Jeanne Cunningham. Isabella Marie Davidson. Cameron Elizabeth Davis. Hannah Marie Dean. Molly Catherine Dudley. Natalie Nell Duggins. Tanner Chase Durham. Ashley Joyce Eads. Shelby Quinn Emerson. Alfonso Eugene Escudero. Dylan Jeremiah Franks. Emily Ann Frazier. Emily Deshay Fulton. Victoria Ann Gadbury. Lizalada Lael Gertler. Trenton Jacob Gibson. Emily Grace Gillock. Sadie Catherine Godby. Julia Lee Goff. Alexis Elaine Gossett. Jason Ray Hayfley. Olivia Faith Hale. Jordan Walker Hamilton. Keegan Dean Hansford. Callie Lynn Adder. Cody Justin Heath. Samuel Everett Hipschman. Hannah Nalia Huber Fritz. Abigail Regine Hughes. 
Colin Earl Iskey, Baron Malachi Johnson, Bryson Scott Lee Johnson, Gracie Marie Johnson, Anna Elizabeth Jones, Jacqueline Hope Keith, Adam Christopher King, Kylie Rose Lawson, Lauren Elizabeth Lee, Michaela Ray Lee, Marissa K. Lee, Lacey Ann Lewis, Alyssa Paige Little, Brooklyn Grace Long, Brittany Marisol Ramirez Lopez, Alyssa Gail Luttrell, Jacana Jace Luttrell, Justin Lee Luttrell, Nathan Larry Luttrell, Trayton Joe Lyons, Marcos Marez Jr. Kylie Euthena Martin, Emily Elizabeth Maynard, Lucas Wayne McCoy, Benjamin Stephen McDonald, Jake Wesley McGowan, Nathaniel Ray McGowan, Sierra Paige McQuarrie, Anna Nicole McQuarrie, James Austin Middleton, Nicholas Travis Miller, James Sylvester Mills, Brandon Tristan Douglas Neat, Seth Patrick Owens, Zachary Austin Palmer, Abigail Leanne Parton, Ethan Ronnie Parton, Deep Ramesh Patel, Caitlin Marie Peavy, Micah Preston Pendleton, Jesse Lee Dalton Phillips, Adam James Price, Andrew Robert Glenn Ramsey, Destiny McKenna Raver, Taylor Rayan Reed, Letitia Moraga Rosario, Dawson Matthew Zane Rousey, David Ray Russell, Abigail Race Shackelford. Alyssa Renee Sharp, Colton Lee Sharp, Olivia Grace Sharp, Emily May Sheen, William Coy Short, Dakota Lee Slavy, Emily Elizabeth Marie Smith, Moses Ray Smith, Tucker Keith Smith, Jeffrey Carlisle Snow, Christopher Evan Souders, Austin Blake Stamper, Jordan Elizabeth Stevens, Bethany Page Strevel, Patrick James Summers, Jordan McKay Sweet, Gustavo Angel Thomas, Austin Michael Turner, Joshua Lewis Turner, Macy Taylor Vaughn, Nicholas Marshall Waterfield, Jeremiah Patrick Watson, Ashley Nicole Watts, Nolan Lee Wesley, Austin Blake Wethington, Brooke 
Lauren Wilkerson, Shayla May Wilkie, Austin Clay Williams, Mackenzie Faith Woods, Isaiah Lynn Wright. Dear God, thank you for the years you have given us together. Thank you for the friendships that have been made. Thank you for letting us come together one last time before we adventure onto our, in our own lives. May this day be a celebration of our, your life within us as we hold this day near and dear to our hearts, and thank you for letting it be possible. May you continue to be with us as our lives go on, Lord. Your continuance upon us and give us peace. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you the leaders of tomorrow, the class of 2020. Congratulations, graduates. y'all welcome Montgomery here congratulations to the class of 2020 at Casey County High School go Rebels go get them.